First of all, put the cold tap on, let it run out for a bit. Yeah. That's all being cold. And what we're going to do, put two of these jugs full into the bucket. Yeah. Okay. Now we're putting the two jug fulls to stop putting yeah. in the pocket. Right, okay, fine. Okay. So we're going to follow the instructions. I think one of the things that some people don't quite understand is the importance of cold water, do they, Chris? That's right. Some yeah. people just imagine if they run it cold from the tap, it's cold. Well, in the summer, it can be maybe 20 degrees coming at that tap, or 15 degrees. Yeah. Okay, so the importance, obviously, to have it nice and cold. It That's needs to be, it, yeah. keep it in a fridge overnight. I like to put my uh, water in the fridge. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah, got yeah. extra chill. Okay. Right, and what we're going to do now, put it in side to side, not all in one. Right, okay. I'm going to drop it in while I'm mixing. I see you, you actually used the proprietary brand of batter mix there. Obviously, one of the advantages of that is that you get a consistent product day in, day out, week in, That's week right, out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know some people will use like a plain flour and put a raisin agent with it. Okay. Right. And you speak to many different fryers and they'll always have a secret recipe for the batter. Okay. Some people will put lemonade in it, that will give it a bit of light, a um, bit of lift. Some people put beer in it. I mean, even malt vinegar. Malt vinegar will definitely make the batter a little bit crispier, but it will also alter the colour of it as well. Okay. Um, some people even put eggs in with it. Uh, I've dealt with fryers before in the past where they put a handful of salt in every bucket of batter, whereas I think now uh, public opinion is that salt is perhaps not as good for you as, as they perhaps thought in the past, so um, there's probably not the need to put salt in it now yeah. that, that there used to be. Okay. We indeed mix it uh, with the um, electric machine in our shop. I think that one of the important things to remember with anything is if you, it, certainly the electric mixer, that if you do use an electric mixer, that you mustn't overbeat it. A minute is, is probably ample. Yeah, beat whereas, all the air out. yeah. whereas if you actually um, use a, a hand mixer, your arm will drop off before it's actually yeah. overmixed, to be honest with you. It is, okay. It's aching now. Yeah, yeah. Must be nearly there. So you can see with this now. Yeah. It's just about the right consistency. Yeah. I'm going to do something called the finger test. Where you're just going to dip your finger in. Yep. Yeah. And it just sticks nicely yeah. to your finger. Okay, yeah. As a rule of thumb, if we were to show anybody, in particular our staff, that the golden rule has to be if you can see your skin through the batter consistency is right. Right, I think if we can just put that in the fridge now and let it cool down for half an hour or so before we use it, that yep. would be about right. 